Hi guys, it's Donna at Face Paints for You and I'm back as promised with videos on everything about face painting. This particular video is a video tutorial on how to do this beautiful but fast and easy snow leopard. So if you would like to see how I do this design, please keep watching. My model you can see waving in the background is actually my foster daughter Eva and she absolutely loves getting her face painted as you can see. Plus this was actually filmed a couple of days ago for World Book Day for school. So I thought why not make it into a YouTube video for you guys to see. Okay, so I started off by misting my sponge and my Diamond FX Grey and Global Pearl White. I put the grey on one side of the sponge and the pearl white on the other side. And in the middle I actually went backwards and forwards between the colours to help with the blending. Then with a bouncing motion, I start with the middle of the face with the darkest colour. So that would be grey for me. And slowly work my way out by rotating my sponge to the lighter colour. So that would be pearl white. But of course you guys can use any colours you want. You can even maybe use a rainbow cake for this and make it into a rainbow leopard. Usually when I'm doing a full face animal like this, I like to keep it nice, small and tight in the centre of the face as possible as I think it looks a lot cuter. So I would try and stay on the cheeks and I usually wouldn't go past the mouth area and the ears usually I would place it on top of the eyebrows. Then I miss the back of my sponge and my diamond effects white and then I would usually ask the child if they could please open their mouth so I can do the muzzle area without getting it on the bottom lip and I do dab a bit of white inside the ears too. Then I get my low cornell round brush number three or even number four will be fine and I load it with diamond effects black and I start doing the nose. Usually on tigers, cats, leopards, I do like to do the nose quite small so I usually only do the tip of the nose and then with my fingers I smudge it slightly upwards as I think it gives it a bit more of a realistic look. By the way, I just wanted to apologise really quickly about my big head always being in the way. As I'm new to this, please bear with me, um, as I really need to try and get used to face painting at a slightly different angle whilst I'm filming. Anyways, let's get back to the design. As you can see in the video, this is where with my fingertips, as the paint is still wet, I smudge it slightly upwards towards the centre of the nose, let's say. Then using the same number three low Cornell round brush and diamond effects black again, I put a straight thin line from the center of the nose down to the center of the lips and then fill in only the top lip with black as later on we will be doing the bottom lip with the diamond effects pearl magenta. Then I start moving on to the inner ears, again with the same brush and loaded with the same black. I do a C upside down and by pressing in with the brush at the start and then slowly lifting the brush as you're going round and curving it into a C, it will give you a thick to thin line. Then on the inside, I uh, to do like little hairs, I do three small little flicks. Then I move on to the leopard print. I do like to do them slightly bigger on the outer edges and then do them smaller and smaller as I get closer to the centre where the nose is. Leopard print actually looks quite hard but it's not, trust me. It's actually quite easy. Um, all it is really is thin to thick to thin small horseshoes. That's exactly what it is. So again, you're pulling from thin, you pull slightly up, then you push your brush in. Then again, as you're curving round again slightly, you push it back out. So you may do some um, in a circle, some maybe more of a C, some maybe a bit more closed. And it's nice when they're all different sizes and shapes. And guys, trust me, practice makes perfect. So continue practicing, trust me you'll get it right. Actually, you'll get them spot on. Do you get it?
spot on. <laughs> okay, let's just pretend that was never mentioned. Um, so yeah, and guys, don't forget, if you need more help with doing these leopard spots, please let me know in the comments below. So at least I know that I'd need to do a video uh, showing you exactly how to do the spots, maybe some how to do a bigger spots and how to do smaller spots and what kind of spots I do, maybe going more towards the middle. Uh, so as I was saying before, don't forget to try and do the leopard spots or leopard prints slightly larger toward the outer edges and as you gradually go in, you go smaller. As you get towards the centre of the face, towards the nose, as you can see now I go to the eye, I do a small flick from the inner corner of the eye and then draw eyeliner and give it a dramatic cat's eye. Sorry again for my head being in the way, but all I'm doing is exactly the same on the other side. Then here, all you would see me do is fill in any spaces or anywhere where I think it needs it. Um, I would do some more leopard print. So what we would do now is pass on to the muzzle area. Now you will see me go down to the edge of the mouth and with the brush I push down and whilst I wiggle I curve round and pull up and again I do exactly the same on the other side. Push down, wiggle as I curve and flick and then from the top I start coming down and pulling some little wiggly lines coming in and again on the same on the other side usually I do about three just depending how big the muzzle area is on how much space I have and now you'll see me get a low cornell round brush number four and I load it up with a diamond effects white and by doing a teardrop, I do the teeth. So I would do a tooth on both sides of the mouth. Now we can move on to the ears. And by going back to my low cornell number three with a black diamond effects, I start by doing like a, a zigzag lines all around the ears. And again, on the other side, exactly the same. Then I do pull the ears a little bit further down towards the eye. Then from the side of the eye, exactly the same by doing zigzag lines, going down and slowly going into the side of the mouth. And exactly the same on the other side, you'll be doing zigzags going all the way down, right to the edge of the mouth. Then with a low cornell number five round brush and diamond effects pearl magenta or pink, not 100% sure of uh, the exact color, uh, but any would do really. Um, I fill in the full bottom lip and then back to the diamond effects black with my low cornell round number three. I outline it and outline the teeth. And very quickly I do always go back with a little bit more white and go over the teeth just to make them pop a little bit more. It would always depend where I am, you know, how long the line is, um, if I'm busy, if I have time, you know, I might go in with more detail. It is quite a fast design though, uh, so you should have just enough time to do all these things. But of course, if you haven't got time to outline every single detail, like going over the teeth, um, it you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, then, last but not least, it's glitter time. 
I use the Silly Farm Mama Clown Iridescent White Glitter in a puffer bottle as it makes it a lot easier uh, to get it all over the design and a lot faster too. Uh, plus I think it goes with every design that you do. So I think it's fantastic. Um, then at the end, just making sure that any small spaces that I have, I would just go back in there by doing a leopard print um, just to finish it off. But apart from that, really the design is done. I do go back in with some gel glitter from Global, uh, silver gel glitter, and I do put a, a little bit in a few of the leopard prints but again it's only if you have time or if you've got it is not essential the design looks fantastic as it is the other thing I do forget to mention is I do paint some eyelashes in for her now so I would usually do that only on a girl design uh, but apart from that again as I said only if you have time uh, because the I think the design looks fantastic as it is right I really hope you like this design as much as I do. And if you do, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget, if you have any questions or you need help with anything, or maybe there's a design that you're wanting me to do, or a design that you need help with, please don't forget to comment below and let me know. And I'll try and do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget, if you've done this design yourself, please send me some photos across. I'd love to see your designs. In the description below, I will write down where you can send those photos across. I really hope that this video or any of my videos are helpful to someone out there as just to help one person, that would be fantastic. And if this video has helped you in any way, please don't forget to give me a massive thumbs up. If you have any videos or any tutorials that you would like me to do or if you need help with anything, please let me know by commenting below. Right guys, thanks again for watching. I much appreciate it. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.